you are the grill master. But if your braai looks a bit sad and neglected, like this one, that is going to be so embarrassing at the get-togethers. So I have a DIY solution for you, especially if your braai is still standing, but it needs a facelift. So I'm going to show you how to make your braai relight your fire. The first step is to clean and prep. So with that, we have to use some wire brushes and sandpaper to get off flaky bits of paint and the rust. And then after that, give it a good clean with some detergent and cloth. It's important to strip your braai down to the bare essentials. So that's removing handles or hardware and removing the wood pieces that are rotten and that we're going to replace. sanding of the braai is done. All the flaky bits of paint and rust is gone and now it's smooth. So all I have to do is give it a good wash to get the dust and grime away. So what I'm using is a general household detergent mixed with some water and I have a grime buster here so we can get this thing sparkly ready for the spray painting. In the drying phase, it's a good idea to tighten all the nuts and bolts around the braai to make sure it's all sturdy, ready for spray painting. Okay, so the braai is nearly dry and in the meantime what we can do is look at our sideboards on either side of the braai on the ledges here. So, I've had these wood pieces cut to size. Now we need to secure this later once we finish spraying the braai. But how am I going to manage to mark out the holes? So what I've done is I've inserted a really thin drill bit. We're going to clamp these down and I'm just going to do an ever, ever so light pilot hole just to mark out where the drill holes should go later. We're going to opt to spray paint our DIY project today, but you can't just use any old spray paint. You have to go for a specialized spray paint for high heat metal surfaces. Like this one, high heat ultra in black and silver, and I'm going to be spraying the outside of the braai because it's advisable that this product goes nowhere near the grill or on the inside of the braai because that comes into contact with food. Let's get spray paint. Shake the can vigorously for one minute and then start applying the paint to your object. Always spray in a well-ventilated area like the outdoors and make use of a drop sheet. Keep the can the same distance from the surface and keep the can in motion while spray painting. Apply two or more light coats a few minutes apart. Okay, so as you can see, we marked out where we should be drilling the holes for the nuts and bolts to pass through later to secure our sideboards to our braai. So I've loaded my wood drill bit and I'm going to use the scrap piece of wood to drill the holes onto. And the next step is I want to definitely countersink my screw heads and fill it with wood filler so the tops of the sideboards of the braai are nice and clean and flush. And I'm going to do that by using this clever little countersink hand tool. Let's chat about the handle. Right, so it had a wood handle, so I'm just going to keep it the same but replace it with new wood. So what I've done is I've marked out where my pilot holes should be. I'm just going to do two shallow pilot holes and then I'm going to use a wood screw on either side to just screw the two together so that the metal pieces are nice and squeezed in the center for easy handling. I'm sanding down the wood with a medium grit sandpaper followed by a fine grit sandpaper. After sandpapering the wood to a smooth finish, it's time for sealing the wood and staining it. So I'm opting for a wood sealant in a mahogany stain and I'm just going to use a clean rag and apply it on with a wiping motion.
my goodness, doesn't it look incredible? The transformation, it looks brand new. Isn't that amazing what can happen when it comes to DIY? I'm telling you, this project is something that the expert griller would just be so proud of. The only thing now to do is to invite those friends and family over for that long-awaited ride.